is the U.S. turning into the next Japan, where no amount of monetary or fiscal stimulus has been able to pull the country out of a deflationary economic slump now into its third lost decade. Paul Sheard is one of the best people to take up this question. He's the global chief economist at Nomura Securities, and he spent 17 years in Japan, mostly studying its economy. Paul, good morning to you. Nice to see you. Tell me whether or not we are going to be the next Japan. Well, Eric, I don't think the U.S. is going to be the next Japan, but I think it's very important to ask uh, what does that question actually mean. Uh, if the question is, is the U.S. economy going to be experiencing fairly stiff headwinds as it goes through this deleveraging process, low interest rates, a lot of stimulus from the Fed, then the answer is yes. But if the question is, is the U.S. following in Japan's deflationary path, then I think the answer is a firm no. Well, some people to be quite frank about it, don't care whether we're going to be in a deflationary path, notwithstanding the fact that that's a very important point. They look at what's happened in Japan, the symptoms of the deflation, right? Uh, very tepid, if not uh, non-existent economic growth. Um, you have had bond yields uh, sub 2% and almost never climbing back. That's what we saw happen here last week. The U.S. Treasury, the 10-year yield dropped below 2%. And so all of a sudden, people are wondering to themselves, my goodness, are, have we fallen into the same kind of trap? Are you saying that because deflation is not on the horizon, we will not enter that trap? Well, I think it's very unlikely that you will get a Japan-style deflation. And it's very important to just recognize what happened in Japan. The broadest measure of deflation for an economy is the GDP deflator. Mm -hmm. That uh, indicator in Japan actually peaked in the second quarter of 1994, and it's fallen since then. It's fallen about 17 percent. Now, that's an extraordinary situation, and it reflects uh, policy errors that were made in Japan. So another reason that it's very unlikely, in our view, that the U.S. would go into a Japan-style deflation is that it's very unlikely likely that policymakers in the U.S. would make the same mistakes. And I think that they've already learned many lessons and have implemented those lessons in the last three like years. Like getting to zero interest rates much faster than the like Japanese? Getting to zero much faster and also engaging in quantitative easing. One of the ironies is that the Bank of Japan pioneered, kind of invented quantitative easing back in 2001. But even as economists were arguing at the time, the Bank of Japan didn't use that policy aggressively enough. You've really got to get ahead of the public's expectations. Uh, in, in the U.S., of course, you can argue about the effectiveness of QE, uh, but the, the Fed certainly has been very aggressive and I think stands ready to be even more aggressive if it feels the need. Paul, I look at the, call it a check the box, the similarities between Japan in the early 1990s, the United States economy here and now. We have had a stock market crash, just like they did. We have had a property crash. We do have zero interest rate policy. We do have a political stalemate. And we do have a very high debt to GDP ratio. We don't have some of the other factors, like zombie banks. We don't have deflation, as you pointed out. And we don't have the same demographic situation. Are those three no's enough to outweigh the five yeses? Well, I think, I think they are. But again, what we have to be realistic here. The U.S. Uh, is coming out of the biggest financial crisis and recession since the Great Depression. That does leave a legacy on the economy. So lower than normal growth, a more stimulative policy, uh, and also, of course, more red ink in the fiscal arena. These are to be expected. The question, I think, is, you know, where is the U.S. economy going to be, say, five years out uh, compared to if you ask the same question in Japan, say, in 1995? I think that you will get very, very, very different answers. What do you think? Out, well, I think five years out, uh, the U.S. will be pretty much through this. Now, that will be, you call it a lost decade. I would call it more a difficult decade. Uh, Japan, on the other hand, I don't like the word lost decade, but uh, nominal GDP, the level of uh, goods and, and services in the economy just measured at current uh, dollar, dollar or yen prices, is at its lowest point since the first quarter of 1991 in Japan. That's the last two decades. I think we're very, very unlikely to see anything approaching that in this economy. Paul, great to have your perspective this morning and very nice to see you. Paul Shear, Global Chief Economist at Nomura Securities. You just heard it from him. We are halfway through what may be a difficult decade, but probably not a Japan-style lost decade.